Now, Time have just released their latest gravel bike, the ADHX bike. And what makes Time really quite different is the way they lay up their carbon fibres is quite different. And also they have a mix of different fibres. And being that Hambini is a bit of a Time fan and he rates them, especially when it comes to tolerances, let's just review these Time bikes and their new ADHX gravel bike. Now, what makes Time Bikes very, very unique is the way that they do the layup. And if you can imagine that there was those Chinese finger puzzles and you used to put your finger into this woven piece. Now, when you just went to pull your fingers apart, you couldn't get them apart and you could see that the thread was all woven. And as you pulled it, it tightened up. Well, they use a similar type of weave with their, their carbon fibres. And what they do is, is they add this Dyneema which is another fiber, which is the strongest known fiber to man. So they add that in there to the normal carbon fibers to give some added strength. Now, how this works is, is as I said with the Chinese finger puzzle, this is actually made in a continuous tube. So what it is, is it's an extruded type of construction rather than a laminated type of construction. Now there is advantages and disadvantages to these type of technologies. Now the advantage to doing this extruded type technology is the fact that the quality control can be controlled a lot better. So your quality control of the fibers going in can be monitored very, very carefully and it goes over a molding which then can be mounted, a wax molding that can be mounted later on when they do the heat curing. So all of that wax or that forming that it's put onto can be removed. Very typical to crank sets that are forged where they have a low mounting metal, they wrap the carbon around it, they compress it, and then they mount that, that forging, that metal, that low temperature metal out of that, that crank set and then it becomes hollow. And you can normally see there's a little hole somewhere usually where they fill it up where that metal was got out of the crank. So it's a similar type of technology. But the disadvantage with it, because the fibers are only wo woven in one way, the strength is not as great as you would get with a normal laminated type construction. Now, laminated technology, which is a standard technology that we see in pretty much most of the bikes, it has the disadvantages of that every piece has to be laid up manually. And there's more chance for porosities and wrinkling and also dry fibres where the resin hasn't penetrated completely because they use a balloon to, to put the impacting pressure on the inside of the frames. But they are using this new EPS technology now, which gives better compaction because it's it's a molding, which is like they use at time. There's this molding, which then they remove after, or they might leave it in parts of the bikes. It's like that foamy stuff, the expanded polystyrene stuff that gives you a shape to lay the, the fibers on rather than putting a balloon in there to compact it when you're building it on a mold, which is it comes in two parts. So the the time construction is completely different to the standard construction of building the bike frames that we've seen with most of the products that are on the market. Now this new gravel bike frame, it's pretty pricey. It comes out to about 3,799 US dollars just for the frame. So then you have to build up and put all the other stuff on. So it's not cheap for a gravel bike. And some of the other road bikes that they make do come in at a cheaper price. They're, they have their climbing frames and they actually are the cheapest. And with our aero frame being the most expensive frame that they offer on the market. But Time have a pretty good reputation and they're probably worth paying the money for, especially because they're using a very specific technique that has a better quality control. They're also made in Europe, made in France, and also we have the Hambini endorsement that these bikes are pretty well quality controlled when they come out of their factory. So why would you buy one of these bikes? Well, 
if I was looking at it objectively, first of all, the type of construction they use looks really nice, especially if you use like a tinted resin or you just use a clear coat on your bike and just leave it in the natural carbon. It looks really good because you can see this weave going right across the whole frame where it's made. And it, it has a very, very, a very nice aesthetics view to when you look at the bike. It looks really nice. And some of the ones on their website are really, really sexy, especially where they're using a resin tint rather than a resin color. The price may be a bit steep on these bikes, but we are seeing these bikes that come from these other major manufacturers that are actually made in China. And the price tickets on them are pretty similar. And with a time bike, we're getting something that we know has been checked by some engineers outside of the factory and are saying that yeah they're pretty well made and also we they're using a system that also has a better quality control in the way that it's it's made plus it's also made in Europe and we need to understand that anything made in Europe or in the western countries is going to come with a little bit more of a premium price tag although when you compare it to some of the other brands it's kind of pretty comparable so it's this is really good to see that time have come out with a new bike because they've gone through a bit of transition. They've been bought out by a different company and part of the the company has been sold off, which is the pedals, they've been sold off the SRAM. So it'll be interesting to see if they can get a bit of traction in the market. They're gonna have a new owner, new management, and they're probably gonna take a different marketing style in future. And it'll be interesting to see that if a product like Time that is offering a bit more of a premium product as far as the build quality goes to see if that makes a difference in the market that we have today. Well, in conclusion, would you buy a time bike? And leave your comments down below. Give us the reasons why you would or why you wouldn't. Do you think that they're a little bit too expensive and you could get something better for your money? Or do you think that they're comparable to what's on the market for the quality you're getting? and the good value. Well, anyway, I would I would consider a time bike, and I actually was considering one when I bought my Look 695, but I couldn't find one that was in my size that was a shop floor that I could get for a good price. And if I ordered it new, then I would have had to wait for it. It would have been a long time, and I would have had to pay full price. And I got a really good bargain on my Look 695, so I went that way. But I do think time bikes are a really good product and I really like the way that they use the extruded technology where they can maintain the quality control a lot better because it's not so reliant on that manual application of putting the Toray sheets onto the frame in the certain positions to build up the the design and the strength of the bike and then it all needs to be compacted after. That's all done in one process as it's extruded onto the wax frame, it's it's held and compressed into that part of the bike. So it's a much, much better quality controlled system. Well, anyway, guys, remember to smash, smash, smash that like button and leave any of your comments down below. And also, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe because that'd be really appreciated. And I will see you next vid. Cheers.